In a strategic move to enhance national defense capabilities, the Senate, under the leadership of Senate President Juan Miguel Zabiri, has approved an increase in the defense budget for the fiscal year 2024. This not only reflects the government's commitment to bolstering security but also signifies a noteworthy allocation for the Philippine Coast Guard, paving the way for a substantial leap in maritime protection. The increased budget for the PCG, totaling 2.8 billion pesos, is a testament to the government's focus on maritime security and safeguarding the country's vast coastal areas. Out of this budget, a significant portion, 2.5 billion pesos, has been earmarked for the acquisition of three new offshore patrol vessels or OPVs from the renowned Australian shipbuilder, Austal. The decision to procure vessels from Austal demonstrates a commitment to quality and reliability. Austal, with its state-of-the-art facility in Balam Ban Cebu, is well-positioned to deliver cutting-edge vessels tailored to the specific needs of the PCG. The first of these vessels is expected to be delivered within 18 months after the release of the notice to proceed, following the standard Philippine government procurement process. Max Defense Philippines suggests that Austal is prepared to commence the project promptly, leveraging an existing design, the Offshore Patrol 83, initially proposed to the Philippine Navy a few years ago. This design, marketed by Austal, is likely to undergo modifications, removing Navy-specific weapon systems and sensors, and integrating Coast Guard-specific equipment. The 2.5 billion pesos allocated for the initial payment covers approximately 15% of the total cost of the three ships, projected to be less than 17 billion pesos. This initial investment marks a crucial step in the Philippines' journey towards building a formidable Coast Guard fleet capable of addressing contemporary maritime challenges. The downscaled design, tailored to the PCG's requirements, reflects a pragmatic approach to resource utilization. By excluding Navy-specific features and incorporating Coast Guard-centric systems, the vessels will be optimized for the PCG's operational needs. This strategic investment is a commendable initiative for the Philippine Coast Guard, providing them with the foundation to establish a fleet of larger vessels. While the current procurement involves an international partnership, the long-term vision may include the development of locally made vessels, fostering domestic shipbuilding capabilities. In conclusion, the increase in the PCG budget for fiscal year 2024 and the investment in offshore patrol vessels underscore the government's commitment to fortifying maritime security. The acquisition of modern vessels equipped with advanced technology will not only enhance the PCG's capabilities but also contribute to the overall defense posture of the Philippines, ensuring a safer and more secure maritime environment. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update on the latest developments in defense and security. This is Philippi News, signing off.